welcome to the Castle YouTube channel. I'm Phil. So you either have a Castle pocket machine or you just recently purchased one. You've got the right pocket cutter. Now let's make sure you have the right tooling. Today we're going to go over the router bit and drill bit options for the Castle pocket cutters including the TSM-12 benchtop machine, the TSM-22, the TSM-30 series, and the CSI 1.5D screw insertion machine. One exception to this is our super portable CASA 110, which uses different tooling. We'll start with the router bits first. One important note here is the CASA router bits have a roughing geometry with either three or four flutes. You'll notice that instead of a smooth cutting edge, they have a serrated or wavy edge. This is what makes these bits really special. Roughing bits were specifically designed for quick material removal and less heat being introduced to the bit. Do not use two flute carbide tip bits or smooth edge solid carbide router bits as your machine performance and bit longevity will suffer. Our three and four flute bit designs provide the proper chip load for the pocket cutting process and keep the bits cooler. All of Castle bits were designed specifically for our machines and will deliver superior performance and durability. All of our router bits are 3 eighths of an inch in diameter and two and a half inches long. Our most popular router bit and the one that comes standard in every pocket cutter is our premium carbide router bit number B00338. This bit is exceptional in routing all materials including both hard and soft woods, composites like MDF, melamine, plywood, and dense hardwoods such as hickory. It's a three flute solid carbide helix bit, also known as an upcut bit, which can be resharpened, furthering its extensive lifespan. Next is our reverse helix carbide router bit number B01338. Use this bit when you need the cleanest pocket in materials like plywood and melamine. This three flute solid carbide bit is just like the bit that comes standard with our machines, but this is the reverse helix or downcut version. The downcut geometry pulls the material down during the routing process resulting in a cleaner cut, especially in composites. Since the bit is pushing chips down into the pocket and then recutting the chips, the bit's life will be less than the standard helix bit. This bit can also be resharpened. Our final router bit option is our high speed steel router bit number B00438. This is a cobalt high speed steel upcut bit with four flutes. It's a great economical bit that works well in routing most solid woods, acrylics and some composites, although we don't recommend it for particle board. If you work mainly in denser hardwood such as hickory, you will want to use the first bit we talked about, the premium carbide router bit. Now for the drill bit options. The first two drill bits that we'll go over are the premium 964 Brad and Spur drill bit number B02964 and the standard 964 Brad and Spur drill bit number B00964. Both bits are manufactured using the same specifications except our premium bit is titanium nitride coated which had longer bit life and is recommended for heavy volume shops. The Brad and Spur tip, similar to a standard Brad point, tracks well in all types of materials and is ideal for hardwoods including the more dense species. Their Brad and Spur tips take aggressive bites out of the wood that keep the bits cooler. This bit is best used with a number 7 screw and offers a slip fit for easy screw insertion. The premium 964 Brad and Spur drill bit comes standard on all our machines and is our most popular bit. Two more very popular bits are our 964 premium split point drill bit number B03964 and our 964 standard split point drill bit number B01964. The premium bit is titanium nitride coated, which adds considerable lifespan to the bit. The split point tip of these bits, which looks like a traditional drill bit, tracks well in all types of materials. These bits are ideal for particularly dense hardwoods, plywoods, and other composite materials. If you are using either of the Brad and Spur bits previously mentioned and are experiencing bit breakage and drilling extremely tough grain patterns in solid wood and materials like plywood, these split point bits are the solution. A number seven screw used with this bit will provide a slip fit for easy screw insertion. Next is the B00764, 
which is a 764 split point bit. Use this bit when you desire a snug fit with a number seven screw that requires a driver for screw insertion. It can also be used with smaller screws like number six. The 764 split point works well in all types of materials, especially in tough grain patterns in solid wood and plywood. Our B00118 is our premium 1 8 inch split point drill bit. It's a great fit for when our 964 drill bit is a little too large but the 764 bit is too small for a slit fit. It works well in all materials, and the titanium nitrate coating on this bit contributes to a longer bit life. Our premium 532nd inch split point bit, number B00532, is the perfect fit when you would like a larger hole than our 964 bit can provide. This bit works well in all materials and is more than suitable for most of your pocket cutting needs. The 532nd bit is also a great fit when using a number 8 screw. This bit is also titanium nitrate coated. Our final bit option is the B00316, which is a 3 inch split point drill bit. This bit is best used with a number 8 screw and softer materials such as melamine or pine. When used with a number 8 screw, the 3 hole will provide a slit fit for easy screw insertion. I hope this video was helpful. Depending on your application and process, you may want to experiment with these bits to figure out the best solution for your needs. There is a link provided below for a PDF document that summarizes the information in this video called Which Bits Are Right For Me. If you have any questions about these bits or any of our pocket machines, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at castleusa.com. Stay tuned for more tips and product videos like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.